Welcome to this presentation on progression two. In progression two, I'm going to discuss the questions that come up in paper two, section A, SPM, which is a uh, compulsory questions. Remember, for this question, you need to understand the question clearly and able to apply the concept you learn in progressions. Only then you can apply the formula to solve the questions. So now we start with the first question here. The length of the perimeter of a hexagon equal to 36 cm. So what is a hexagon? Hexagon is a six-sided figure. So you know that if you calculate each size, you should have six terms. The length of the side of the hexagon are in arithmetic progressions. And the longer side is five times the length of the shorter side. Find the length of each side. So you have to analyze the questions. You have a hexagon. Hexagon is a six-sided figure. So you have the first term, the second term, the third term, fourth term, fifth term, and the sixth term. Now you know that the length of the perimeter. So perimeter is the sum of the first six term, which is 36 cm. Because the perimeter is equal to the T1 plus T2 plus T3 all the way to T6. And also that you know that the longer side is five times the length of the shorter side. Let's say the shorter side is the first term. So you know that the longer side is actually five times of the first term, which is equal to 5a. So you can see that t6 also the last term. So now to apply the SM formulas. Since I know the last term, I'm going to use this formula Sn equal to n over 2 a plus l where the l is the last term. So now I have n which is 6 divided by 2. The first term a equal to a and the last term equal to 5a. This equal to 36. Therefore, I have 3 multiplied with 6a equal to 36. a equal to 36 divided by 18, which is equal to 2. So now I know my first term equal to 2. I need to find the length of each side, meaning I need to find the second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, and sixth term. I know my sixth term equal to 5a, that is 5 times 2, which is equal to 10. Remember what is your sixth term? That is a plus 5d. Your a equal to 2 plus 5d equal to 10. Therefore, 5d equal to 8d equal to 8 divided by 5, which is equal to 1.6. So if I know my d, I can find the second term, which is a plus d equal to 2 plus 1.6. That is equal to 3.6. The third term equal to a plus 2d, which is 2 plus 2 multiplied with 1.6. You have 2 plus 3.2, which is equal to 5.2. The fourth term, you can just use 5.2 plus the common different 1.6, which is equal to 6.8. And the fifth term equal to 6.8 plus 1.6 which is equal to 8.4 of course the sixth term equal to 10. so now you know the length of each size that is 2 3.6 5.2 6.8 8.4 and 10. 